When you receive your clothes made error, it will normally arrive in one or two parcels. In this case, we have one parcel. And inside the box, you will find the high quality Scandinavian pine slats and a small box of fittings in which you have the cast iron rack ends. The two pulleys, a double pulley and a single pulley. The high quality cotton rope, which is made in England. The wall cleat. And finally, the all important fixing instructions. And this all comes as standard with your close made error. The tools that you'll need to install the error are a tape measure and pencil for marking out the pulley positions, a drill with a 5mm bit for the pilot hole and a masonry bit for the wall cleat, a pair of scissors to cut the rope and finally a screwdriver to fix the wall cleat. This is a mock-up of a traditional ceiling cross section and this shows the floorboards above the joists and the plasterboard ceiling below the joists. Now in traditional properties, the joists tend to be spaced every 16 inches or 40 centimetres apart. So this is an important consideration when looking for the joists. Now to find the joists, there's a simple way of locating them. And that is to tap the ceiling until the sound changes from a hollow sound to a solid sound. And I can demonstrate this now. So if we tap the ceiling, it sounds hollow. But as soon as it gets to the joist, much more of a solid sound and that is where the joist is likely to be and that is where your pulley needs to go. So we've identified now where the joists are in this utility room and we've marked on the ceiling the pulley positions. It's always good before you drill to check there's no hidden pipes or wires in the ceiling. So if you can use one of these scanners it's always useful. Now, the single pulley is the pulley that goes furthest away from the wall cleat, and this is the pulley we're going to fix first. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our drill with a 5mm drill bit, and I'm going to drill a pilot hole, ensuring the hole is deep enough to take the full length of the screw. So now I've got my single pulley, I'm going to lubricate the thread lightly with some 3 one oil and then I'm going to screw this into the joist. So now we've fitted the single pulley here and the double pulley here and they both need to be in line to avoid any friction and now we're going to go and fit the wall cleat. So this is the standard wall cleat but today we're going to use the wall cleat mount which is painted to match the wall, it gives a strong anchorage point and it prevents scuffing on the wall. So I'm now going to fit the wall cleat block at a sensible height using the included screws and fixings and I'm going to position it just underneath the double pulley. So the wall cleat mount is now fitted and we supply these either natural or with a primed finish, which means you can paint them to the colour of your wall. They provide a really strong anchorage point and the rope will not scuff against the wall. With your clothes made, you'll receive a standard 10 metres of high quality cotton rope. And this will need to be cut into two pieces. Now to determine the length of those ropes, you take the distance between the pulleys, which in this case is one metre, and add a one and a half metre drop at each end. So for the single pulley we're going to need a four metre rope and for the double pulley which is nearest the cleat we're going to need a three metre rope. And we're now going to attach the rope to one of the rack ends. We simply thread it through the loop, give it a couple of twists, back through itself, pull it tight and we've got a simple but effective blood knot. 
So now I'm going to carefully thread the rope through the single pulley and down to the cleat block. So I take the rope up over the wheel. And then this then goes over to the double pulley. And similarly, I pass the rope over the top of the wheel and down. And then just roughly tie it off on the cleat. And I'm going to do the same with a double pulley. Take the rope up over the wheel and down. And again, just roughly tie it off on the cleat. So I've now got my rack ends roughly the same height and I'm going to thread in the pine slats. And we start in the middle and you'll notice I've got an overhang of about 10 to 15 centimetres at each end. And now I'm going to walk over to the wall cleat and show you how we can balance this off. So, the rack is, uh, has got two ropes, as you know, and quite simply, by adjusting the ropes, we can tilt the rack. But what we want to do is make sure it's absolutely level. And I'd say that looks level to me. So what we're going to do now, we're going to bring it down to loading height, where you're going to put your washing on, and I'm going to tie a knot in both ropes and this will ensure that it always remains level. So I've tied a knot in the rope and if I just hook it under the wall cleat you can now load the area whilst it's firmly secured to the wall. And you can also cut off any excess rope like so, because that's going to be the lowest position of the error. Of course, if you're concerned that your rack might tilt, we sell our original rubber grippers. And they simply slide on to each end of every slat, right up to the rack end. So in this case, you'd have eight of these. And should your error tip, you'll find the slats will not slide out. So here we have the closed made area fully assembled. And you'll see it is the loading height position for your washing. Now when you operate the area, this should run very smoothly through the pulleys. There should be no friction on the ropes whatsoever. If there is any friction, then there's something wrong with the installation. Now this particular model, the Popular, has got the highest clearance over doors when fully retracted. So if we take it to the very top and lock it off, you'll see it even clears the tallest of doors. Well, my name's Jonathan. I'm the owner of Made, and my team and I are here to help you with any questions you have about our products. So please feel free to phone us, email us, or even visit our website at closemade.com. Thank you. If you can't fit into the ceiling or if you have suspended ceilings, you can use our special wall brackets, which are proving popular in modern properties. In new build properties, there's a thick layer of insulation, which makes the joists inaccessible for screw pulleys. These wall brackets solve the problem and they come with both a single pulley and a double pulley. So these wall brackets simply fit up the wall, right up to the ceiling. They've got four strong screw holes for a strong fix. You can paint them to match the decor of your room. And they act just like a ceiling area. And they come in both white and black. So you can match them to suit the colour of your area. 
and further details are available on the Closemade website. If you have a hard concrete ceiling or a metal ceiling, you can use our flat plate pulleys. These come as a double and a single pulley and they simply fit flush up to the ceiling. In the case of a concrete ceiling you'll need plugs and screws but with a metal ceiling you'll need self-tapping screws. And these are available in the accessories section of our website.